Hey y'all, welcome to Crepe Myrtle Row. My name is Lisa. Today I have a huge haul for you guys and I'm gonna do something just a little bit different on this haul than I normally do. I have a few pieces that I've already put up in my house or already using somewhere. So rather than take those down and bring them in here to do the haul, I just decided I would, after I show you everything here, I'll take the camera down and go around into the different rooms that I put stuff and let you see what I have there. But if you're new to my channel, welcome. I do a lot of thrift hauls. I am a thrifty girl. I love thrift shopping, antique shopping, all of that. I'd say probably 95% of my home is thrifted. And I love decorating for the season, so I change out stuff. As you can see, I still have like summer decor, which will stay here until at least September. I do not start my fall decor until at least September. So, um, with that being said, let's just get started. Just this little book. I just, I love little books. I use them for decorating. I don't think you can, well, there you can. You can see how I just stack them up and put things on them. Well, this one just being a little thick one, and it's the utmost, my utmost for his highest. It's like a little pocket treasury thing. But I just thought in the fall, you know, the colors on this with a little pumpkin sitting on it or something. And I think it was like 50 cents. And then this book I got for like 50 cents, just a vintage um, kid's Christmas book. The only problem is it's missing the back cover, but that's okay. I'm just going to use it. I have several older um, vintage retro looking Christmas books like this that I'm just going to display together in a vignette or some kind. Okay, this next item, I think I paid $3. This is the most unusual thing. So it's this basket with the potato masher made in it. And y'all, it's nasty in there, it needs cleaning. But it's almost like whoever made the basket, they weaved, because it is hand, um, like they made it in 2003. And they signed so they made the basket around the potato masher and I collect a bunch of these I have a big dough bowl full of all kinds of old um, potato mashers all kinds of old utensils but anyhow when I saw this one I liked it because I knew the potato masher but then I also love baskets and I just thought that was the most unusual thing to sit around and you know I could decorate and all kinds of things with that but that was just really cool Next, I have, y'all know my love of plates. I can't seem to pass them up. And I thought this one was so pretty. I love that kind of blue-green color and the swans. Another thing I have a passion for is a lot of ducks and swans. So this one was perfect. And this one, I loved this iron stone. And look, all the crazing and all. And I mean, 350, and it's the Lord's Prayer. And I just thought... That was so pretty and the gold gilding, but I just love all of that. The stained ironstone and crazing on it. That is just so pretty. Now, I have another, like a plate of Jesus with the lambs and stuff that I use mainly at Easter time. But I think this one I could leave out all the time and use it. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I think it's going to go maybe in my living room. And just leave it year round because my living room has you know the kind of blue green walls and stuff so i think that'd be pretty and then i found this i think it's a fox graph anyhow for two dollars just a little creamer little stoneware creamer creamer thing just thought it was cute and then i love baskets so i got this buttocks basket as they call it for a dollar. Cannot beat that, and I love the color of that. In my living room, um, I hang a bunch of these on a coat rack, or hall tree as it's called. It's got the little racks that are the pegs down the side, and I've got a whole bunch of them all kind of just stacked together, hanging on those pegs. And you'll see it um, when I take the camera down and I go around in, in the rooms, I'll show you a little glimpse of that, but love these. I love 
old vintage frames. And this one, I think it was $9.99. Yeah. Is this, someone had already taken and put this, which, you know, my last name's Austin, so. <laughs> but that's not, I'm gonna take that off. It's just kind of tied into the hanger. But I love this frame, and I mean, it's huge. Okay, I love um, flower frogs. So this one is just like a little plastic one. I paid $5 for and then I paid 12 for this one, but I have not found the little one like this in a colored glass before. And um, I just love that, especially during the fall. But I have a collection of these and I just kind of sit them in there beside uh, my chair in the living room and just kind of sitting around. And then sometimes these with the holes, I'll actually use these because I do a lot of the adult coloring books and I'll pick out the colors that I want to use on a project and I'll take one of my frogs out and stick those colors in there and then put the rest of them up so I'm not tempted to keep trying to decide on colors. <laughs> so like those. And one other thing I wanna show you. And then I found this little frame with the, and that's a real little oil painting in there and it was 99 cents and I just thought that was so cute. That is all I have for this haul. Um, like I said, we're gonna take the camera down and go look at um, the stuff that I already put up and then we'll come back. Okay, so this room was my son's bedroom until he got married and we painted this room. Gosh, I think he was like 10 years old, he picked out the way he wanted it. I, well, I did the striping. He picked out the colors and all. I'm going to repaint it eventually, but right now, I'm just wanting it to be functional. My daughter decided, because this is the bigger bedroom, so she decided she would rather have this one to come stay in, so this became my guest bedroom instead of what was previously her bedroom. Because, like I said, this one has more room, can put the crib in here, and then they have more floor space to move around in but what I bought in here is this bedspread and I think I paid three dollars for it and I love chenille bedspreads <laughs> and then it's got the little fringe on it and then I found actually three of these now they're you know not handmade quilted shams but I got three of those for two dollars and then two of these for a dollar fifty, and that's the extent I will do for pillows on this bed because the pillows they actually use when they come are inside those shams, so they'll just take them out when they want to use them. And they wanted me to keep it minimal <laughs> in here, so I don't have anything like over the bed there or over that area because you know when they're sitting on the bed, raising our hands or whatever. They don't want things falling off on them. Same over there. It's a very, as you can see, it's a very small space just to get to that side of the, the bed and don't want anything sticking out on the walls. I've got this picture that was an actual, like an oil painting and I just loved the colors. Again, it had the blues and the greens and everything that I thought it just gave something to this room so it's just not so plain. And um, then, and then this won't stay in here once my daughter gets here. The Raggedy Ann and Andy, and these are the big ones. These are like the, the three foot tall ones. They're, they're huge. <laughs> I love Raggedy Ann and Andy. That was one of my favorite dolls when I was growing up. I had one just like her and my brother and my cousins took her out into the woods and played war with her and they cut her from the top of her head up there, it's not wanting to focus, all the way down, down her leg. And I was so upset and crying my eyes out. And my granny, being the sweetheart that she was, she's like, we're gonna fix it. So she was a sewer, sewed for everybody around. She cleaned off the dining room table and laid out some sheets. We laid Raggedy Ann out on that table and she got out her thread and needle and scissors and everything and put me on like a long shirt of my grandpa's to look like a doctor's coat. 
<laughs> and we pretended we were a hospital. And she taught me how to sew that day, just doing the little slip stitch. And I sewed my raggedy end up from head to toe and played with it for many more years. I don't know what happened to it as the years went on. Um, I don't know if it just got thrown away. I don't know what happened to it, but I've always remembered sitting there at the, or standing at that table performing surgery on my Raggedy Ann with my grandmother. So I guess that was my first time sewing. And I was probably like eight years old at the time, but I saw this set and I gave $10 for the pair and I just had to have them. And like I said, <laughs> they're in this room for now. When my daughter comes to visit, I'll take them out of this room just so she has um, room to sit there at the the rocker and rock my grandson if she wants to. Okay, here in my kitchen, the things that I wanted to show that I recently thrifted and had already put out is this rolling pin, which is like a milk glass um, base. And then this green one back behind here, that someone has decoupaged onto. Now to get it back in place, there it goes. And it just fits right in there and gets caught by the edge there. So it stays up in there perfectly. I have a thing for rolling pins. As you can see it, this is your first time joining me here. That is my collection. And then I have a few right there. And I found that piece and really loved it. I don't remember what I paid for this or the two, um, rolling pins. I don't remember exactly. It wasn't very much. Y'all know me. I'm a cheapskate. And it goes perfectly here <laughs> with a good friend of ours just gave us those tomatoes out of his garden. Can't wait to eat some of those. Of course, apples and potatoes that I keep there. And then that is some of my um, sifters. This one is a recent one, but that one is brand new. It's a Pioneer Woman one, but I thought it went well with all my vintage ones. So in here in the living room, the thing that I bought that I've already put up is this picture here, and it's an oil painting. I need to get some kind of good cleaner and stain and do something with the, the frame. It's got quite a lot of scratches on it, and I need to fix those. Y'all, this drives me crazy that you can see that, but there's really nothing I can do. That is all of the light mechanism that goes up there and around in here and stuff. And I mean, that's, it's too close to the wall to stick this piece back behind. So that's what I've done. And honestly, you don't really notice it that much in person when you're in here, unless you're looking for it. But love that picture because I love the mountains love the rivers and it goes real well with the one that I already had that was over there that I thrifted many years ago but that was another recent find I paid ten dollars for that and I, I showed this a reel on my Instagram recently of all my baskets there and stuff if you haven't seen that and then lastly in this room I thrifted this thing. Well, I say thrifted. It was kind of at a boutique antique store. Um, I think I gave $20 for it. Maybe I can't actually remember, but I love, as you can see, I love my um, pressed aluminum or, or hand wrought aluminum things. So it, it just added the perfect space to that. And then that one up there, there was a round one up there, but it didn't have as much detail. So I replaced it with that one. And then the other thing I got was this silver piece and it works perfect with these big candles. And I don't see the price on it. I'm thinking it was $2.99. And I, I know I could probably polish it up, but I like the tarnished look. And then I got that little pot with the greenery in it for, I think it was $2.99 also. So that's just my little 
beside my table where I do all my coloring and stuff and watching TV. And there's a couple of those flower frogs I have. And I will group the other ones with that in some way. But that is all of the pieces that I had that I wanted to show you that are already out. Okay, y'all, that's all I have for this haul. It's a very long one, I know. <laughs> I try to make these smaller, but it just does, never works out that way. But anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed everything. And let me know, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite is. And um, like I said earlier, if you don't already subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload videos. And come over to Instagram and Facebook and join me there. I do post a lot more often over there and stuff. And if you are new to my channel, I do have an Etsy store. Um, Crepe Myrtle Row on all my platforms is how you can find me. And there's also will be links down below to all of those areas. And I'm not sure when I'll be back on here. As I've mentioned before, I have a new grandbaby and I'm getting to see him a lot more often. And so I'm just living in the moment and taking time with him. So I'll get back here when I can, but y'all have a blessed day. Bye.